In this video, we're going to create one of the most common use cases for apps, which is to upload images, files, and assets that your user submits to some cloud storage. And we're going to do this in a scalable, simple, and affordable way. And all of this is possible with BuildShip, which is a platform that will allow you to create powerful backend cloud functions, APIs, schedule jobs visually with the ease of no code and power of code. So here we are in our BuildShip project. You can see I've got a number of workflows. I'm going to be adding a new one here where we can have multiple triggers. We're actually going to be using the REST API call. This is going to be especially handy when building an app that is heavy in assets, that takes images, generate videos, and that needs to be stored somewhere. So let's go ahead and add our trigger. So we are going to have here upload file as our path, and our method is going to be post. So now we've already got the ability for folks to be able to upload their files, but we still want to store them somewhere. And we actually have a node for this. I'm just going to click here on the plus button, and you're going to see we have multiple ways to do this. You could, for example, hook up your Google Cloud Storage to your BuildShip project, more on this in the documentation, and have a node to immediately create a file. But if you don't have Google Cloud Storage, you can actually do this directly with BuildShip. We've created one for you. And as you can see, we've got lots of ways to be able to manipulate files. We're going to be doing this with Base64 since most of the time we'll be uploading Base64 files. Of course, if you have larger ones, you've also got the ability to upload multi-part files. But for this example, we're going to go with Base64. So I'm going to click on Add here. Our Base64 file data will actually come from our variables in our requests body. I'm going to call this data. So from our body, we'll grab our data. Then our file name, we'll, let's just call this uploaded file. Once we're done with that, what we're going to do next is have a return, respond to the API with a status of 200, and the value is going to be the URL of the uploaded base64 file. So with that, we are nearly done. Let's go ahead and ship this. Great. Now we've got our URL. Let's go ahead and test this in real life. So here we are in Hopscotch. We've got our URL set up. Our post is ready and our data is already encoded in Base64. So I'm going to go ahead and click on send. And there we go. Our file is uploaded. We see we've uploaded a screenshot <laughs> of BuildShip. Wonderful. Let's go back to BuildShip real quick and tweak some stuff around. So you might have noticed that the name is always going to be uploaded file, which isn't really helpful, especially if we want to be able to upload multiple files. So why don't we tweak this node ever so slightly? We could do this in the code. Just clicked here and taken a look at the code. But how about instead of using a file name, let's modify this node, shall we? I need to modify the node to make the file name random. We're going to be using AI for this. Cool. Now that that's done, let's take a look at how our code changed. We can see now we've got a random file name and we're assigning that file to be a random file name. That's pretty cool and all, but let's give it a try, shall we? I'm going to ship this once again. Great. Let's copy that URL and come back to Hopscotch. Cool. So everything should look mostly the same, except for the fact that instead of uploaded file, if we upload this data, we should get <laughs> a random file name. This is amazing because now we have the ability to upload as many files as we want and everything is still working. Okay, now if you go to your project settings, you'll be able to see the uploaded files on BuildShip Storage by going to the storage section. But as you can see, this is just a starting point. You can expand this any way you like to build your ideas with a powerful backend, all with BuildShip. I'll see you in the next video.